What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of E4, The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. This is Episode 4, and with me, as always, I have Blue Spade. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so it's... I would say this episode was a little bit better, uh, going into Rishio's backstory for the first time. Um, so, it, it pretty much, it explains, like, how she ends up joining, uh, you know, the Bow Heroes party in the first place. Basically, she said that she uh, was... Um, She's a, she's the only daughter of a noble family, um, uh, but unfortunately, like uh, her family uh, was un unable to pay off certain debts, so she was uh, she was abducted by you know by, by these loan sharks or something like that until uh, until she was saved by Itsuki, inspiring her to join the party in the first place. Um, uh, of course, uh, that you know she tells this to Ost, who who's still alive after after the spirit tortoise is somehow like you know it's still alive itself after it, it got its head decapitated in, in the previous episode so um right now now Fumi and the rest of the party have decided on going uh, going to the back of the spirit tortoise to find out how to stop it in the first place yeah uh, that's kind of uh, <laughs> that ends up being a majority of this episode too is them kind of like traveling uh i guess to the back of the spirit tortoise and then traveling up the, the back of it which is like this huge mountain um and yeah. then in between and then they take breaks where they just kind of camp and talk to each other basically mm -hmm. um and uh yeah like i remember you mentioned that the rishi's backstory was should have been early uh been shown at the beginning i guess of this season um and i kind of figured that they would probably you know since it's probably it seems pretty important they would probably put it somewhere in the, in the season and i guess this is the episode where uh they decided to have her actually go over her backstory and explain mm -hmm. at least why she's so uh well why i guess why she has such fondness for uh Itsuki. yeah H however there's one thing that felt a little bit off um in this episode is that rishia is under the impression that Itsuki and probably the other two heroes are, are are somehow at the Spirit Tortoise. When we know for a fact, in so far the way the way this anime is adapted, none of the three heroes even took part in this battle. Even though technically, if for people that read the manga and the light novels, they did take you know, take part in the battle, but they ended up going MIA due to the devastation the Spirit Tortoise ended up causing. So I don't know. Uh, for this adaption, I don't know what gave her the impression that it's Itsuki is even there, even though um, the, the other three heroes pretty much flat out refused to even take part in this battle in the first place. Yeah, I guess it would make more sense in the source material that you would think that, um, but not really in the anime if they're not even if they, as far as we know, they never really uh, were involved or, you know, wanted to be involved in this. Yeah. So, well, in terms of Rishia, uh, you know, just it, you know, like she she feels like even when she was uh, at uh, with the, the bow heroes party she she kind of felt like she was more of the outcast of the party that she didn't really contribute as much which uh, which led her to believe is the reason why she got kicked out in the first place um however the reason why she was kicked out um since the end of the last season was that she she was framed for um for a crime or some sort of mishap that caused her to get get kicked out uh, in the first place even though like there is some some amount of evidence to disprove that itsuki uh, himself actually doubles down on his decision to kick her on the first place which which is a little bit puzzling and you know it, it could have added more to the storyline as the reason why um you know itsuki kicked her out and the, and there was there was also another scene uh um uh, around the beginning that now for me confronts uh, Itsuki about this you know just just to put his you know put out his case on why it, you know Rishia should not be kicked out of his part uh his party in the first place but uh, like I said Itsuki doubles down and you know pretty much uh just just he, he just like you know just wants uh Rishia gone from his party but he never really gave out like a clear reason as to why Mm. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. Maybe this is something else that could also have been rearranged uh, because it does kind of seem like it it is a little bit of an important scene that they uh, glossed over. Um, mm -hmm. 
uh, it's possible that i mean because as we know this is kind of this does have to do with rishi's character and it is something she's still kind of of course like struggling with is the fact that you know uh itsuki kicked her out um and you know why he would do all that uh, i mean i can see this this also being a plot point that is maybe potentially moved to later on uh, i i could see it kind of i could maybe see it happening that way in the anime but maybe under like a a different set of circumstances or a different context maybe uh, as opposed mm-hmm. to how it happened in the source material yeah so uh so yeah so b- because of this um rishia decides that she wants to contribute a little bit more i guess to build up her confidence uh, in order to and it pretty much in hopes that itsuki will uh, end up taking her uh taking her back into his party but uh we we won't know that until like she runs into him again that's assuming that you know that they're under the impression that itsuki and the other heroes are somehow at the spirit tortoise which they there was no evidence of them even you know taking part in that battle in the first place mm-hmm. yeah i mean yeah, we so, do kind of see rishia bring up how she wants to be more useful to naofumi in in this episode at least when they get to uh to the temple um mm-hmm. yeah they they discover ruins of a massacred town in a in the tortoise's back but they find out that pretty much like the the entire uh you know the entire populace of that town is pretty much dead and all, all they, they could find is just the ruins of a, of a temple they go into where they find like um these uh ancient texts uh pertaining about the spirit tortoise but they they discover that there are some faded japanese text from an uh, older hero from way back then which now fumi is able to read mentioning something about like uh, how to stop the spirit tortoise but um but yeah but unfortunately like some of the some of the text is too faded to the point where now fumi can't you know, make out uh, most of it yeah um i mean, I, I believe Risha is also able to read some of the text too or translate it uh, at least for now the, the stuff that now fumi couldn't understand mm-hmm. yeah but un- unfortunately for them um the, before they were to before they were able to get anything else from uh from all of that the temple suddenly collapses and then just pretty much i i guess destroys what whatever like relics remains is uh of that temple were left so they decide so then uh, all of a sudden, Ost remembers a way to destroy the tortoise for good by, uh, for them to just go inside the spirit tortoise and destroy its heart. And of course, conveniently, the path to the path there happens to be right under the uh, under the temple. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, they they end up kind of going down um, into the cave where I guess that would lead to where supposedly the spirit tortoise's heart is, um, but this is where things like uh get pretty crazy because they end up running in into these people who are supposedly they say they're adventurers and that they were sent there by the queen which didn't really make any sense um but of course it, and that of course uh well actually when they encounter them it, the person uh there's a person with a scythe who attacks now fumi and that kind of <laughs> gave it away for me i was like Oh, there's only one person who really uses a scythe, as far as I know, of uh, which uh, Raftalia ends up using some kind of spell to, uh, I guess, I, I think it was called like the it, break, it breaks their uh, illusion or illusionary magic, I guess. Um, yeah. Which ends up revealing that it's, uh, uh, I forget what his name is. The, uh, the sp- it's uh, it's Lark, Lark Therese, and then, of course, finally Glass. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they of course reveal that they're they've come back. That's pretty much where the episode leaves off. So it kind of has me interested. I mean, not that I wasn't before, but more interested that I was uh, that they're actually back again. Um, and I'm kind of wondering uh, how Nalfumi is going to interact with Glass, considering the uh, the last time they met, you know, they were fighting each other. So. I'm kind of wondering if maybe they'll be like some kind of unlikely allies in this scenario or if they'll be like enemies again uh, for whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, at, at the pace this is going, like, I'm, I mean, I'll, I'm a little bit surprised that they're already going this far into the story. So I'm guessing that 
So I'm guessing this is something it's else that wasn't supposed mission. to happen yet. Well, it do, it does happen. I'm just you okay. know it's going by a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Well, that's I, kind of been the pace so far for the yeah. for the whole season. It's been going really fast. Um, yeah, on on. I, th I think it's likely that will, you know, like we, you mentioned, you asked me before if like uh, if they'll ever um, explore uh, like uh, Glass's world sometime. Yeah. And I did say that, you know, that they'll eventually do it sometime after the Spirit Tortoise arc. So it's very likely, you know, since like I would say the Spirit Tortoise arc only covers like two volumes. So it's very likely that we'll, you know, finally get to see um Gla glass in Lark's world probably by the end of the season. Yeah, because I remember you mentioned that they've already kind of got through the majority of what was like volume six or something or they're they're on volume well, vol seven. The vol well, this is the start of like volume seven already. Okay. Um, so it, if I were to guess maybe the, this uh, this spirit order storyline will be over in about like two to three episodes probably well if yeah, i, I kind of thought that the uh, majority of the season was going to be the uh the spirit tortoise arc um, yeah that's that's what i that's what i initially thought based on all the promotions that they put out but it seems with with the pace that the you know that the show is going right now it's very likely that they're they're gonna finish off the spirit tortoise arc in a few few episodes hmm yeah and so. and then of course they're gonna finally move on to the other stuff uh pertaining like um what's going on with the other the other three heroes uh uh now for me uh and the other uh, and the others uh finally exploring uh, uh glasses world for the very first time but mm -hmm. you know of course that's yeah that's i'm kind of spoiling a bit right now but that's that's kind of where the story is headed um at this rate yeah i'm kind of wondering then if uh so if they're going to cover the entirety of the spirit tortoise arc, like I'm guessing they're going to get into the next arc. Then I mean, I'm also wondering if that's going to cover, I guess, the remainder of the season in that case. It's pretty likely, uh -huh. and I'm curious. I'm curious to see, you know to find out if uh, if what was it, season three is going to start airing immediately after the season, or if we're or if they're just going to put the show on hiatus until that uh, until the next season shows up. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, weren't they? Uh, so, so were they just uh, working on season two this whole time, or do you know if they were maybe also? Because I don't remember actually if they, they said that they they said that they uh, well back back when they first announced it, they said they were working on seasons two and three back to back. Okay. So it's it's very likely that we might get season three pretty soon after this, unless that they unless they end up delaying it. Yeah, I think in but that case I, it's much more likely that we would get it sooner if they've if they've been working on that one as well. Yeah, but as of right now, like so so far, you know this uh, so far the story pacing has cut. I, I wouldn't say it, it's hard for me to tell because like you know the the pacing of this this show like four episodes in, in has already got, gone at a, on at a, at a breakneck next speed already so it's yeah like i said it's it's very likely um that the, you know that this uh, spirit tortoise arc will be over in about a few episodes i i can't say mm. for sure but it's very likely to end really soon yeah well i guess we'll have to see what they decide to do but uh yeah like i thought it was definitely a uh, much better episode than the, the last the last few episodes um i don't really have too much else to say about it though because uh not a whole lot really happened aside from us seeing, you know, Rishi's backstory. And of course, you know, well, I guess the spirit tortoise uh, village and the temple and then the, uh, the ending where we see the, uh, you know, those other three heroes. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about it. Um, uh, I don't know if you have anything else to say. Well, uh, I mean, ho hopefully, hopefully uh, like um, it, it gives us like, I don't know, a satisfied conclusion to this arc because it, it felt like the story felt a little bit longer, you know, in the live novels than than what what's being showcased here, because obviously they, they took out a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, I remember people mentioning that apparently if they had 
adapted most of the spirit tortoise arc we would be subjected to a lot of like talking and now for me being involved in like political meetings and stuff like that uh somebody compared it to like reincarnated as, as a slime season two uh which i haven't seen but uh they said apparently that's what happens in season two of reincarnated as a slime and it would have been like yeah. that i guess um so i guess that that might have been a justification as to why they decided to kind of rush through this arc the way they have uh so they yeah. can get through the other stuff i mean there, there's still a couple of scenes that they could have put back in there like the confrontation between itsuki and naofumi uh you know discussing about arishia uh, being mm -hmm. kicked out of the you know of its party but they decided not to put it in there for whatever reason instead you know they just have a, a you know itsuki and Risha have a brief pass by uh with each other uh you know talk you know talking about like how Risha's parents are doing but you know not deciding not to bring her back in the party yeah i felt like they could have at least put that scene in there aside from and, and uh, also maybe some other scenes that are so far you know missing um yeah uh so that all being said guys uh, until next wednesday we will see you all next time